Welcome back, everybody. My next guest is a comedian who just had her first HBO stand-up special. Please welcome Michelle Wolf. Nice to see you, too. We met briefly backstage at Night of Too Many Stars. We did. It was yeah. real short. It was. Terrified that night. Were you? Oh, yeah. Because yeah, like, Why? Because you're in Madison Square Garden? It was live. Sure. And everyone I love was backstage. <laughs> yeah, it's an amazing group of people. Yeah. Michelle Wolf was there. I, and she was terrible. <laughs> Now, you worked at uh, a couple of great shows. Uh, Late Night with Seth Meyers. Uh, now you're at The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. I hear very good things. Now, you also just released your first... Please say hi to both of those people, please. I will, okay. yeah. <laughs> you've, just, you've just released... I got a big poster here. Your first HBO special. Uh, it is called Michelle Wolf, Nice Lady. <laughs> Can you can you explain to me what's going on in this poster here? Well, I want to do. Uh, I, it's nice, lady, because I'm I'm not a nice lady, <laughs> and I wanted to look like I was like burning it all down. Yeah. And this was the concept they came up with, which I loved. But as you can see, I'm throwing a lighter, and um, a lot of people took issue with that. A lot of real nerds on Instagram and Twitter were like, um. So are you throwing a second lighter? Oh, because like, because if the explosion happened, then you threw the lighter to set off. Yeah, the thing but that's first... not how I said the explosion. I lit a fuse. Oh, so why are you throwing away your lighter? It's evidence, and I'm not a smoker, so I was like, I don't need this. Get out of here. All right. Now, um, I, I, you know, I've got uh, this other little art card here with uh, uh, is a tweet that you just you sent oh, recently. Oh, yeah. Nice. And um, I think it's got a strong message. Yeah, I think it's... A um, strong message is about the, the, the sort of the, 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 the rash of revelations of sexual impropriety and uh, sexual abuse. And um, you... this is a really important message, I think. Would you mind saying it? Oh, if I hold it up, it's yeah. written right in the back here if you want to. Oh, great. Um, from now on, your penis is Beetlejuice. It's only allowed to appear after we say it three times. <laughs> Which, Do you have to, really? How does that go? Do you have to say your penis or just penis three times? No, um, Beetlejuice. We have to... Beetle... I don't... Wait. No, I guess I, I, I thought, have to I say... I thought you have to say... Do you say your penis or do you say penis or do you say Beetlejuice three I times? I would say Beetlejuice. Three I times. Guess. Penis. Wait, we're getting really close to it being three times. <laughs> I'm insulted by the implication. <laughs> now, There's a um, lot of men here. <laughs> what? Whoa, okay. Well, I, what, 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 is your, what, what is your reaction to the, 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 the raft of these revelations about sexual harassment, which obviously women you know and talk about, and, and, and men, I think, to a certain degree, are willfully ignorant? Yeah, I mean, there, it's just there's so much sexual harassment happening over the past couple of centuries. Um, <laughs> it's just all these brand new allegations from the beginning of time. Uh, I think it's actually in the Bible. They were like, and on the third day, God was like, hey, sugar. <laughs> 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 I can just imagine every morning men like scroll through the news on their phone and they're like, uh, I live another day. <laughs> it's like checking the obits to see yeah. if you're dead. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, uh, do you have um, do you have any advice on like you know how to properly uh, approach a, a woman in a way that it is not obviously not at work, right. obviously not in power dynamic, uh, I mean, I'm not referring to us, but like <laughs> in an unequal power dynamic, what, what do you think a proper think way to do this would be? It's, uh, it's so, the thing that's so annoying about sexual harassment is that it's so easy not to sexually harass. Like, right. men, you're being dumb. Like, women, we will, we will do almost anything you want. We're so easy to manipulate. You're just taking the shortcut. You have to put in the work. You know, don't just pull out your penis, you know, like, put in the work. Say something like, oh, my God, have you lost weight? And 
Before you know it, you're masturbating in front of us with our consent. <laughs> it's like, yeah, sure you can do that. I feel so skinny. <laughs> Then we're both then, orgasming for different then, reasons. But what, but what you should not say to a man is, oh, my God, has your penis lost weight? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, now, do, 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 you think, do you think that the entertainment industry is improving in any way? Do you think, like, in general or right now, it's improving in any way? Well, I mean, it's nice to see, like, they, they're getting some female superheroes. You know, we have Wonder Woman. Great movie. But, uh, well, I think we should admit, uh, maybe we're ready as a society to admit that Wonder Woman is a terrible superhero. What? Uh, what no, take a walk with me. Um, <laughs> I, uh, she sucks. Uh, her, her power is the lasso of truth. That's a really bad power. Uh, and I'm also, I'm pretty sure it's sexist. <laughs> That the guy that created her was like, if women could have any power, any power at all, they'd want the truth. <laughs> <laughs> we get to be invisible and fly. Yeah, it's like, we want the truth. Which is crazy, because I wouldn't want the truth if I could have any power to be the power to make a man have my baby. You know, like, you have my baby, 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 you have my baby. Before you know it, we got a bunch of little redheads running around here, and I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> Truth, truth is a bad power because villains aren't bad because they lie. Villains tell you ex exactly what they're going to do. It's right. one of the trademarks of a villain. Right. Like the Joker's like, I put a bomb in Gotham, you have 90 minutes. Wonder Woman shows up and she's like, I mean, he was honest. So <laughs> it's really all you can ask. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here. It was thank wonderful you to so see much you again. For Michelle Wolf, nice lady, is available on HBO. We'll be right back. Wow, what a cliffhanger. What's going to happen in the next Late Show video? Click subscribe to find out.